हरे कृष्णा फ्री विल इज द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन इम्पल्स एंड रिस्पॉन्स ऑफन द क्वेश्चन अराइज डू वी हैव फ्री विल और फॉर दैट मैटर मोर स्पेसिफिकली डू पीपल हु आर एडिक्टेड हैव फ्री विल सम एडिक से दैट एज सुन एज द डिजायर फॉर अल्कोहल कम्स इन माई माइंड आई हैव टू ड्रिंक इट I can't give it up. So, are they so bound that they have no free will? And if the free will goes away, then what is the hope? Actually, we never lose our free will entirely. But the free, our capacity to use our free will can be eroded if we have misused our free will in the past. to understand this consider a simple example that if we on our computer repeatedly visit a particular site then that site becomes an auto complete in our browser window and that's where as soon as type one letter it just comes immediately or sometimes it may become our home page and as soon as we open the browser that's what comes up so similarly for us based on the way we have function in the past certain things become like default responses they just come immediately and so there is a stimulus which comes up from outside and then that stimulus triggers a impulse within us i want to do this or sometimes the impulse may come without any external stimulus also it may come based on some internal recollection So an alcoholic may just be walking along a road, and suddenly, I want to drink. They just turn around and go somewhere far away, although there's no bar nearby. They go there. So when the impulse arises within us, and then there's the response. So the stimulus, the gives us the impulse, and in between the impulse and the response, the gap that is there, the greater the gap, the greater is our free will, and. the more we do an action repeatedly this gap decreases 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 till our free will becomes almost like non existent but if we use whatever little gap we have right now even if alcoholic feels like drinking and can't resist the drinking if they at least when the urge is not there at that time they try to act in a healthy way if they try to act in a way that strengthens them internally that purifies them then that itself is, will increase the distance so in the bhagavad gita in the 16th chapter krishna says in the 11th verse and the 12th verse about how a materialistic conception binds us and there he says our desires become like shackles asha paash shatair baddha काम क्रोध पारायण ईहंते काम भोगा अन्यायनाथ संचय सो आशा पाशतर्बद्धि बिकम बाउंड बै आर डिजायर्स दैट मीन्स एज सुन एज द इम्पल्स कम्स यू आर बाउंड वी पुल्ड इन अ पर्टिकुलर डायरेक्शन हाउ एवर बिफोर द डिजायर कम्स वी आर फ्री आफ्टर द डिजायर कम्स एंड गोज वी आर फ्री if during that time we focus on connecting with krishna on serving krishna who is all pure and all potent then that will purify us that will increase our inner capacity to push back whenever the impulses come in the future and as we become more and more purified then although the impulse and response might be very close slowly the distance between them will increase we will become mindful oh this impulse has come i don't need to respond to it and in that way by using whatever little free will we have to connect with krishna we can increase our free will till we become free from worldly attachments from worldly delusions we become absorbed in krishna and that absorption wholeheartedly in krishna is the ultimate liberation thank you hare krishna